What I want to do in this video is share my basic oil painting tools with you and I'm sitting right now in my home studio which is actually my my living room but um, and it's a very uh, a dark and gloomy uh, September day in Finland right now so I don't have a lot of light and um, but I'm doing the best I can uh, filming this video um, I don't have the best lighting right now but we'll have to do I have two unfinished paintings right here uh, sitting on my easel that I'm working on right now and um, I I want to do a full studio tour at some point uh, when it's a uh, when the day is a bit brighter and um, everything looks nicer but um, and actually I don't have everything set up in my studio um, uh, as I like as I would like it to be because um, I just uh, uh, just a few months ago moved back to my own home because I had to leave leave my home due to a renovation in my building and uh, I had to put everything away and then when I moved back I had to put everything back <laughs> to where the, everything I owned back to where they were so I'm just uh, I'm just uh, putting up things um, uh, when I have time and uh, I'm just arranging everything. But uh, in this video, I uh, I'll just share the basic oil painting tools I use, and um, I'll start with uh, um, showing you the easel that that I paint paint with. So the easel that I'm using right now is a Julian Black Spirit brand easel and it's a plain air easel so it's very uh, it's quite light and easy to move around and since my painting space is quite small I really like this because uh, I can even um, uh, fold it uh, it kind of folds into uh, a suitcase size so um, I can take it with me or just put it away in a cupboard or something like that so it doesn't take a lot of space and it's still very sturdy and I just um, I like using this a lot and uh, another bonus is that I can fit all my all my um, brushes back here and some other painting tools and actually under my palette there's there's a space for for my paint tubes so all my painting supplies almost all of them they fit into this easel so it's very convenient and i like using it a lot and here you can see all my all my paint tubes i've removed uh, the palette from from the top and now you can see that I can fit all of, all of my paint um, tubes under here, so I think that's that's fantastic. So I don't need another another place to put them. So that's very convenient as well. And now I'll share uh, what oil uh, oil paint brands I like to use. My absolute favorite is the Old Holland brand. Uh, these are very high quality oil paints and the pigments in these Old Holland uh, brand paints are just wonderful and they have a wonderful range of, of uh, different paint colors and uh, I just own a few of them because uh, these are uh, paints that I have to order online if I want to get them because I can't get them from any of my local art uh, stores. So, but anytime I have a chance to get me some old Holland paints, uh, I just uh, I love picking these out and and, uh, and getting uh, new new colors uh, from them. So. Um, this is my uh, number one brand, is the Old Holland. And 
and another brand I use a lot is just the um, basic uh, uh, Winsor & Newton uh, oil colors, the artist range. They have a, a cheaper range as well, uh, but uh, I use the, the artist brand, which is a bit uh, pricier, but I just um, I found these to be uh, very good quality as well. So. Uh, Winsor Newton artist colors and uh, I have quite a lot of these because uh, my local art store sells um, these Winsor Newton paints and uh, if I ever need uh, uh, any of the basic colors such as raw umber which I use a lot uh, I usually go to my local art, art store and uh, get the Winsor Newton brand because it's uh, very easy for me to just buy buy from them and um, um, another one that I really like is the, the American brand Gamblin uh, these are very good as well and um, only recently my local art store uh, sells this brand as well so before that I had to uh, buy these uh, when I was traveling or uh, just um, I had to order them online if I wanted to try the gambling brand, but I have a few tubes of this as well. And, and I also have a few tubes of this. It's the Mussini. Um, these are very high quality paints as well. And um, I actually, when I was starting oil painting, I used uh, these uh, more. But um, nowadays I just um, mostly prefer, uh, even though these are very good, they're just a bit pricey, that's maybe why I don't use them so much anymore. Um, I use the Winsor & Newton Artist range and, and whenever I get a chance to buy any new colors I usually try to buy uh, Old Holland. But this Mussini brand is very good as well. So those are the basic um, oil paint brands uh, that I like to use. And now on to the brushes. Um, I use just basic um, brands from my local art store. Uh, these for example, uh, they're just basic synthetic uh, uh, brushes and uh, I, because I like to paint tiny details, usually I I buy the, the small brushes, so uh, this is size zero, is what I usually usually go for. Zero or two, and uh, this four, no, this one. Um, this is from my local art store as well. Uh, these are not very uh, like uh, expensive brushes, because I, um, I have to buy them, uh, especially the small brushes, I have to buy them. Uh, uh, buy new ones quite often so I don't want to invest a lot of money into very expensive brushes that I will destroy eventually so uh, just um, just the cheap ones the synthetic ones but I'll always uh, uh, make sure that um, the the bristles or the the hairs on the brush are good quality and uh, so I can get the, the tiny detail that I'm looking for and uh, yeah, here's another, just a basic um, Gilbert brush from my local art store. That's synthetic as well. And um, uh, sometimes I like to use, uh, these are just very uh, cheap makeup brushes. Um, these are very good for getting um, soft blending, so for backgrounds or uh, for example, backgrounds, I use uh, these makeup brushes from time to time to, to blend uh, colors evenly, so they're very, very convenient and, and don't cost a lot of money as well, so um, those are what I like to use. And actually this this dragon here I think is quite cool, it's um, a souvenir that I bought from China when I was visiting China a few years ago and uh, 
I think it's meant to, it's meant for um, uh, like Chinese uh, ink, ink brushes um, to hold them and I use it for my, for my oil, oil painting brushes. So I just wanted to show you that. And now to the oil painting mediums. Uh, when I started oil painting, it was very uh, confusing um, to find or to figure out what kind of mediums I should use because usually when you paint with oil paints, uh, usually, oh, depending on the way you like to paint, but the way I like to paint is I, I want to thin down the paint with, some, with something and uh, that's why I use oil painting mediums, so it's meant to thin down the paint and um, there are so many different ones uh, that you can use but um, I found uh, this one to be uh, very good for the way I paint so um, you can look at a lot of different uh, mediums but I'm just going to show what I use right now and um, this is just the um, painting medium, just basic painting medium by Winsor & Newton. Um, uh, you can find this from most art stores. And uh, this is actually, it thins down the paint. You can see that it's kind of like a liquid. Thins down the paint and this also slows down uh, the drying time. So you have to keep that in mind. So it might uh, slow the drying time of your painting layers and I usually prefer using this but if I'm in a hurry and I need my paint to dry faster I use this by uh, Winsor & Newton it's called called uh, liquid and it's a painting medium that um, uh, quickens the drying time so it's it's much thicker consistency it's kind of like a jelly um, I don't really enjoy the smell of this uh, medium, so I usually don't like using this. I only use it if I'm in a hurry and I need my paint to dry faster. So those are the two oil painting mediums that I currently use. So as I, I have shown you, my oil painting tools are very basic. I only um, I showed you my paints and uh, the brushes and uh, the oil painting medium that I use. That's uh, that's the only thing. Those are the only things that I really need. And uh, when uh, my painting is finished and it's uh, I let it dry uh, for at least two weeks and just to make sure that uh, it's dry to the touch. And after that, I can apply uh, the final uh, uh, layer or the varnish, they call it, uh, that protects uh, the oil painting. And I like using uh, Gamvar uh, gloss varnish. They also have a um, satin varnish and a matte finish varnish. But I, I think I prefer the gloss at least at the moment. So this is the, the varnish that I use. I can make a, I want to make a separate video of how to varnish or how I varnish an oil painting. Uh, I'll do that later, but I just wanted to show you this. This is the final uh, part of oil painting is applying the varnish. And uh, that's it. And I think I'm going to continue my paintings. I'm. Uh, I still have some work to do with these and both of both of these and uh, I'm hoping to have them finished very soon and uh, thanks for watching.